So that happens to be the one part that wasn't ignorance uh, overall, the growth in that regards. So I did know from a strategic uh, perspective that it was going to be beneficial to be number one in the market, be one of the first in the markets from a brand awareness, from a positioning uh, point of view. I also knew that that there was going to be some wealthy investors or people out there that that they would see the fantastic success of Booster Juice. And I needed to have a running start to be able to not have, be at three stores, to have someone with deep pockets kind of be able to jump over kind of the growth where, uh, where I was at. So it was very, very strategic. I, I, I always find that if you're going to grow a business, it's, uh, it's best to be first in the market or one of the first. And then uh, with your expansion, if you can tie up the best uh, real estate, then competition may come in, but it's going to become much more difficult for them to compete. And even to the state, and, uh, and this was a common thing, you know, people will go into a booster juice and uh, they say, well, you know, how, how hard is it? You know, you're, it's fruit, it's juice, it's a sorbet. There isn't too much behind the concept. But uh, there was quite a bit behind the concept because it's all the fine details and we did have so many competitors who were in the first few years, you know, all taking a run at, at starting a juice bar concept. So uh, I, again, I, I think it's, uh, it's vital off the beginning to, uh, to be aggressive and to, to grow as fast as you can. And uh, uh, for some, for some uh, business uh, people, they'd say, you know, you, you've got to be cautious and don't grow too fast. I'm kind of an all or nothing guy. So I mean, I, I, I disagree with that. But. Uh, just, Evelyn, you couldn't be the first salon, you couldn't be the first spa, so what did you do to, to differentiate yourself from your competition? You know, we always worked at being the best that we could be, and to this day in our corporate office, when every time we do something, I always say, could we do it better? Could we make it better? Could we do a better service? So, we, we, grew, we, we started out probably, I don't know, when, when all of our growth came, maybe 15 years ago, and we went out to become, to, to capture Western Canada. That was my goal, is to grow everywhere in Western Canada, and, you know, we were going to be the first, and we were going to count. But through all that, it, it was really funny. We were out to become large, but when we when we polled our customers, the, the, the feedback that we got was that we were luxurious, and we were beautiful, and, you know, that was not even what we were trying to be. We were just trying to grow and be the best, but out of that came something different, so. so know what you're really trying to accomplish here. And then yeah, it was good. That. It was good that that's the feedback that we were getting, but yes. it was becoming large and being the best was right. definitely on our strategy. Okay. Jay, do you want to address that before we wrap up? Uh, Different, um, coming up against competition when you've got a good idea, somebody else is going to copy it. Yeah, well, well, you can look at us. We were the the first movers in that space. Were uh, were Walkbox in 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 the Asian noodle hotbox chain, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it was just the same thing with us. We just like, okay, we know we can do this better. We've got uh, the founder of the concept has obviously proven something that uh, or created his own lightning in a bottle uh, with making his own sauces, making his own noodles. And we knew with 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 that there was something that we can that we can create and definitely compete. And uh, yeah, and, and and that's what that's what's been the big driving factor is uh, just making sure we believe in our product and we know that we can we can grow it and uh, we know if by getting it in people's hands we will uh, be able to achieve that for sure. 